Field Piece Instruments makes tools and test equipment specifically designed for the HVAC technician. All right, let's go over the features of the SC56. First of all, the SC56 is a swivel head climate meter, so I can turn that head 180 degrees so I can easily see the display no matter what angle that wire is at. It is dual display, so I can have two readings at the same time. Right now I have it in the volts AC, amps AC, and hertz switch position, and so the display is currently displaying volts. To display amps, I would just press select. Now this switch position measures hertz and amps with the head, and it will display volts using the leads. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. The SC56 also has a nice bright blue backlight so you can easily see your readings. So right now I have these two wires right over here and they are connected to a standard hair dryer. So the first thing I'm going to do is clamp onto one of the wires. Now you'll notice right when I open up the jaw it has a flashlight on that jaw so I can easily see the area that I'm working in and clamp on the wire that I want. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one rotate it up and turn my display so I can easily read it even to, and, and have the wire out of the way. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on the hair dryer and you can see that it's displaying about four and a half amps uh, while that hair dryer is running. Then I can take the leads that I have plugged in and I can measure the volts from this outlet. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now you can see that it's measuring about four and a half amps from the hair dryer and about 116 volts from the outlet behind me. All right, and so that is the dual display. Another feature of the SC56 is inrush current. What this does is allows you to read the amperage of whatever you're measuring in the first 100 milliseconds that you turn on the unit. And this may help you diagnose a motor before it fails. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. The first thing you have to do is have it in the amps mode like I do with amps displaying in the top display. Then on the side there is the inrush button. So I'm going to go ahead and press that just once and you notice the display displays four dashes and the inrush uh, and inrush in the display so you know that it's ready to go. Now what it's going to do is once I turn the hair dryer back on, it's going to capture the amperage in the first 100 milliseconds that I turn it on. So let's go ahead and turn it on. So you'll notice that it took about 5 amps to get this motor started, just a little bit more than it does when it currently runs. So let's go back to see what the uh, amperage is when it's, when it's just running normally and I'm going to press the inrush button and hold it down for a second and it puts me back into normal mode and now I'm reading about four and a half amps. So it does take a little bit more amps to get that motor started but since it's a, it's a small motor and working in good condition um, that it's not going to be too much. Alright now just going around the rest of the features of the SC56 coming into the dial First switch position is the Fahrenheit and Celsius, or temperature switch position. What this does is actually display Fahrenheit at this, Celsius and Fahrenheit at the same time. It uses a standard K-type thermocouple. Let me go ahead and grab that. Now one thing about the uh, SC56 is you do have to open up the thermocouple port. You can't have the leads and thermocouple plugged in at the same time. So you'll notice that the lead ports are being blocked right now. To open those, I just switch it over, but now my K-type thermocouple ports are blocked. So what I have to do is just open those up by closing the lead ports. Now I can plug my thermocouple in, and it will display. So it's about 78 degrees in here, 77. And this is a very fast reacting temperature sensor, so what I can do is just pinch the tip of the thermocouple to kind of heat it up and you'll see that it'll jump to 91 very quickly and then as I let it go drop back down to 
the mid 70s, high 70s, whatever it is in this room at the moment. So this is going to help you out when you're going from a hot roof down to a uh, cold basement. You won't have to wait for that temperature sensor to uh, stabilize. Let's unplug that. All right, going down to the rest of the dial. The next is duty cycle and frequency. Duty cycle is measured in percentage in the top display and hertz will be measured in, in uh, I mean, sorry, frequency will be measured in hertz in the bottom display. Next is microfarads for your start run capacitors. Then we have the ohms, continuity, and diode uh, switch position. To select between the ohms, continuity, and diode, you just press select and you'll notice the continuity symbol will be in the screen. I can press select again and then the diode symbol will be in the display and then I can press select again to go back to just the ohms which is down here. Alright, next switch position is the off switch position. This does have an auto off feature so if you accidentally leave it on or it gets turned on in your truck it will turn off after about 10 minutes so you won't have to worry about wasting your battery life. Then we have the volts AC and hertz switch position. Then we have the volts DC switch position. This will be taken with your leads. Then we have the non-contact voltage switch position. What this does is you just switch it here and the non-contact voltage feature is ready to go and it will tell you if a wire is hot or not. And even in outlets you can see which is the hot and which is the common. So that side is the common and that side is the hot because it's, it's beeping faster. And that's the non-contact voltage feature. And then we have the microamps, uh, microamps DC. And now this, the SC56 and the SC55 are similar. What the SC56 has above the SC55 is the jaw light. So this only comes on the SC56. Also, inrush current only comes on the SC56, and the SC56 is true RMS. These are now available at your local field piece distributors, and that is the field piece SC55 and SC56.